Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The military industry is constantly evolving. New types of armored vehicles and weapons are being developed and used for a wide range of missions. Every country is developing priority projects. Today, we present you a collection of 15 latest military developments of the Ukrainian Army. T-72 AMT the Kyiv armored plant supplied five refurbished upgraded T-72A MT tanks to the Ukrainian armed forces in February 2021. Ukrainian developers improved most of the tank's features such as protection, firepower, and combat systems in the T-72A MT. The tank was upgraded with elements of the knife dynamic protection and the rear of the turret hull was covered with bar armor. The T-72 was equipped with two digital radio systems. This tank is also fitted with night vision devices and new observation equipment. A remotely controlled combat module with a 12.7mm machine gun was installed on the turret roof. The tank is also fitted with a GPS Vazalt satellite navigation system. The undercarriage was also upgraded. The drive wheel and caterpillars were fitted like those of the T-80. The front of the tank was fitted with neon headlamps and a rear view camera was mounted on the rear of the tank. The T-72 AMT is also fitted with 9K-120 to system to fire a combat-guided missile with a firing range of 2.8 miles, 4 kilometers. BMP-1 UMD the BMP-1UMD is a major upgrade of the BMP-1. Equipped with a stilet combat module, a digital fire control system, a German Dutz engine, and other equipment, special attention was paid to the protection of the crew during modernization. Besides installing some extra protection elements, a complex of works on the camouflage of BMP-1UMD in the infrared range was carried out. The new combat module is equipped with a 30mm ZTM-2 automatic gun, 30mm grenade launcher, 7.62mm machine gun, and the barrier anti-tank guided missile launcher. A track M targeting system combined with a stabilizer ensures precision fire. Such armament ensures the destruction of lightly armored vehicles as well as enemy tanks at a distance of up to 3.2 miles 5 kilometers. The upgraded armored vehicle also received a new digital protection communication system, modern navigation equipment, and other modifications that have improved the ergonomic and functional characteristics of the vehicle. Kevlar E The Kevlar E is an experimental infantry fighting vehicle based on the chassis of the 2S1 Gvozdika. This infantry fighting vehicle, instead of 122mm cannon, has a superstructure to increase the height of the troop compartment and is equipped with the Assault Combat Mode with a 30mm automatic cannon. The crew of the combat vehicle consists of three members, commander, gunner, and mechanic driver. The IFV can also accommodate up to six troopers. It is noted that Kevlar E can overcome water obstacles and allows firing from the ground while moving and afloat. In conditions of direct optical target visibility in fog, rain, snow, and smoke obstacles at any time of day and year. This vehicle is highly mobile and is able to follow tanks, traverse trenches, and entrenchments on the move. BM-21UM Berest The BM-21UM is a Ukrainian 122mm caliber advanced multiple rocket launch system. The system is based on the Kras 5401NE truck chassis and the upgraded BM-21 Grad rocket launcher. The Berest has numerous advantages over the Grad launcher. The cabin accommodates the entire crew, whereas the Grad places part of the crew on open seats behind the cabin and the launcher contains 50 rocket launchers instead of 40, as in the Grad. The Barrett was manufactured by the Shepetovsky repair plant using its own current assets. Only Ukrainian components, including the chassis, were claimed to be used in the Barrett's construction. 
The Barrist is equipped with a digital fire control system that allows the crew to carry out preparations for firing, such as topographic positioning, without leaving the cabin. The Barrist is also integrated into the Battlefield Information Exchange System. The MLRS crew gets real-time coordinates of the enemy from drones and counter-battery radar systems. BTR-4MV-1 Ukerspec Export and Uker Oberamprom presented a new modification of the BTR-4 Armored Personnel Carrier, the BTR-4MV-1, at an international exhibition in the United Arab Emirates in 2021. The BTR-4MV-1 has a number of configurations in the technical part of the Armored Personnel Carrier. Compared to the conventional BTR-4, it has better protection. According to the claims of the developers, the APC meets the latest trends in the world of NATO armored vehicles. Its armor has a modular layout which allows it to quickly replace selected elements of the top layer in the field. This has increased the weight of the vehicle to 52,000 pounds to 55,000 pounds, 24 to 25 tons, which is 4,400 to 6,600 pounds, 2 to 3 tons, more than the standard version. The armored personnel carrier is built on an 8x8 wheelbase. The installed engine is made by German manufacturer Dutz. This allows the vehicle to maintain a maximum speed of 68 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, despite its heavy weight. It is also noted that the vehicle can cross water obstacles at a speed of up to 6 miles per hour, 10 kilometers per hour. Brem Lev. The Lev is an armored repair and recovery vehicle based on the T-72 tank and developed by the designers from scratch. All components used in its design and manufacture are of Ukrainian and Western origin. The armored repair and recovery vehicle Lev is intended for evacuation and towing of disabled and damaged tracked and wheeled military vehicles, providing assistance to their crew in repairs in the field providing lift and transport operations with the help of crane equipment for mounting, dismounting of components and units, welding and metal cutting operations with the help of welding equipment, as well as route clearing and making passes with the help of bulldozer equipment. The Ukrainian machine is not inferior to its foreign counterparts in terms of its tactical and technical characteristic and functional power. BTR-4E The BTR-4E Armored Personnel Carrier is a modern armored four-wheeled floating combat vehicle that has been used as the basis for an entire series of vehicles. The BTR-4E is a completely Ukrainian design that has undergone the entire cycle from scratch to being commissioned into service and is now in serial production in Ukraine and is regularly supplied to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The BTR-4E is intended to transport personnel of motorized infantry units and provide fire support in combat. The armored personnel carrier can be used as a basic vehicle for special rapid reaction forces and marines. The sail combat module mounted on the vehicle is intended for fighting armored and unarmored ground and low-flying targets. The vehicle is equipped with devices to protect personnel and equipment against nuclear blast effects, toxic agents, bacterial agents, and radioactive dust when moving over contaminated terrain. It is highly mobile and can follow tanks, cross trenches, entrenchments, and water obstacles on the move. BARS-8 MMK The Ukrainian Armed Forces received the BARS-8 MMK self-propelled mortar carriers. The self-propelled mortar is designed to assist mechanized units in fighting, raiding groups, subversion and reconnaissance groups, counter-battery warfare, and so on. 
The machine is equipped with a 120mm mortar with a maximum range of fire of high explosive fragmentation mortar up to 23,300 feet, 7,100 meters. The innovative equipment enables the weapon to automatically aim at the target, restore the position of the barrel after firing, and determine its own coordinates. A significant advantage of the BARS 8MMK is the speed of conversion from a stowed position to a firing position and vice versa. It takes three times less time than for similar weapons in service with the Ukrainian armed forces, even though the crew is half the size of a conventional towed mortar. BTR-3DA The BTR-3DA is a Ukrainian armored personnel carrier intended to transport personnel of motorized infantry units and provide them with fire support in combat. The new version of the vehicle is equipped with a new engine, transmission, auxiliary power unit, and an upgraded combat module. The new Ukrainian BTR-3DA is fitted with the BM-3M Sturm single turret module, which is capable of stabilizing the weapon unit in two planes. The combat module accommodates a 30mm automatic cannon, 350 rounds, 7.62mm machine gun, 2,000 rounds, and barrier anti-tank missile system, 4 missiles. The BTR-3DA is faster and more maneuverable than its predecessors. It has improved armor protection for the crew and an optoelectric module with thermal and TV capability. This makes it capable of firing during the night. Berevi the Berevi is a 220mm caliber multiple launch rocket system designed to replace the BM-27 Uragan. The unit can use all existing rockets for the Soviet model BM-27 Uragan, as well as new ones developed by the Yuzhnoye Design Bureau as part of the Typhoon 2 program. The range of modern munitions ranges from 21 to 40 miles, 35 to 65 kilometers. Berevi is placed on the Tatra T8157 chassis in the 8x8 formula, which allows it to reach a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. The new reactive system is equipped with a digital fire control system, including a battlefield information exchange system. It allows incorporating the Berevi into a single reconnaissance and strike loop, where information from reconnaissance assets, like a drone, is transmitted online to the means of destruction. This minimizes the time from target detection to destruction to a matter of minutes. BTR-3KSH Ukraine has developed a new BTR-3KSH command and staff vehicle based on the BTR-3, which is intended for controlling units in modern battlefield conditions. The manufacturer claims that the heart of the BTR-3KSH is the innovative automated battle management system, which integrates all information about the location of units, targets, and fire weapons transmitted via secure digital communication. It also includes its own unmanned systems which allows the BTR-3KSH to receive updated information on its own. For protection purposes, the BTR-3KSH is fitted with the IVAM combat module. This is a lightweight remotely controlled combat module armed with a 12.7mm machine gun equipped with a day and thermal sight with a rangefinder and smoke screening system. S-22 Bogdana The 2S-22 Bogdana is a Ukrainian advanced wheeled self-propelled howitzer with a 155mm caliber barrel. It is the first Ukrainian self-propelled howitzer to be designed for NATO's 155mm caliber. 
The self-propelled artillery unit is based on the Kras 63221 chassis with twin armor cabins to accommodate the maintenance of the combat vehicle. The Bogdana is also equipped with the Siemens Siplus and Somatic HM automated pointing system and ammunition supply system with a capacity of six rounds. Charging, aiming, and firing can be controlled from either side of the cabin or the outside of the vehicle. A second control station is located at the rear of the vehicle. The 2S22 Bogdana self-propelled artillery unit is capable of firing rocket-assisted projectiles to a range of 31 miles, 50 kilometers. A high-explosive fragmentation projectile can reach a range of 24 to 26 miles, 40 to 42 kilometers. BTR-70D The BTR-70D is a Ukrainian modernization of the Soviet BTR-70 armored personnel carrier. The BTR-70 has been upgraded to the BTR-70D level by replacing two ZMZ-4905 Soviet-made gasoline engines with two new GM-6.2 US-made General Motor diesel engines with a combined output of 330 horsepower. This increased the total output of the engine by 50 horsepower, which improved the vehicle's mobility. In the 2018 demonstration model, the BTR-70 turret with machine gun armament was removed and replaced by the Delta Combat Module. Armed with a 23mm automatic gun and a 7.62mm machine gun with a digital fire control system, but plant representatives said that the armored vehicle can be equipped with other types of combat modules if necessary. The 2020 version offered for export is offered to be equipped with a combat module with a 30mm automatic gun for the BTR-70DI instead of the BTR-70 turret with a machine gun armament. Spectator the Spectator is a Ukrainian reconnaissance unarmed aerial vehicle and is the first Ukrainian-made drone delivered to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The UAV is intended for aerial photography and aerial reconnaissance and can be used in search and rescue operations as well as for monitoring borderlands, oil and gas pipelines, water areas, and forested areas. The drone is launched from hand. It is equipped with an onboard video camera and the information from this camera is recorded on a memory card and can be reviewed after the flight is over. The drone can be equipped with a photo camera, thermal imaging camera, or radiation measurement sensor in addition to a video camera. The complex includes three spectator drones, one ground control station, a radio antenna, a set of batteries, and backpacks for transporting equipment. Deployment and launch preparation time is about 10 minutes. Ottoman 6x6 The Ukrainian manufacturer NGO Practica recently carried out field tests of a promising Ottoman 6x6 armored personnel carrier, which is a major modernization of the Soviet BTR-60 armored personnel carrier. The Ottoman armored vehicle has been under development since 2016 in two versions, 6x6 and 8x8. The project includes the replacement of the BTR-60's armored hull and power pack. The new steel hull provides Stanig 4569 Level 2 protection, 7.62mm bullet and 155mm projectile blast protection at 262 feet 80 meters distance. The hull is fitted with a ceramic armored mount. The Ottoman engine compartment is located at the front of the vehicle. The crew compartment and troop compartment are behind it. The troop exit is through a stern ramp. The Ottoman 6x6 is equipped with a combat module with two anti-tank missile launchers, six 40mm grenade launchers, and a 30mm cannon.
That's all friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the developments you like the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.